Martin Lawrence is one of our favorite and most revered comedians. Martin came to fame during the 1990s, establishing a Hollywood career as a leading actor. He got his start playing Maurice Whitfield, Warfield rather, in What's Happening Now from 87 to 88. He was a leading actor in his own sitcom, Martin, which we all know and love, of course. He was in the Bad Boy franchise and House Party, Boomerang, Wild Hogs, Nothing to Lose, Blue Streak, Life, Big Mama's House, and A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. I I could go on. Martin has had a lot of homes from L.A. to Virginia, but he's been pretty private with his real estate digs. Today, we're looking at one of his most prestigious homes. This home was located in the exclusive Beverly Park neighborhood with neighbors such as Denzel Washington, Justin Bieber, Magic Johnson, Sam Jackson, The Rock, Steve Harvey, and Eddie Murphy. These people either lived there or still live there. In just a moment, we're going to tour this mansion that Martin's own, then rent it out for $200,000 a month back in 2012. It has six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, and spans over 13,800 square feet, and it lasts over 24 million back in 2013. This is the moment where I ask you for the type of support that doesn't cost you a dime. It's simply a press of a button, the like button. Press like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll be right back with the tour of Martin's Beverly Park Mansion. I'm Lamb, the real estate insider. We're going into the Beverly Park mansion of actor, comedian, and living legend, Martin Lawrence. As you can see, it's behind very high and secure gates. It has long legs, I mean, I mean columns, propping it up. <laughs> so well, let's start in the dining room, a very grand dining room, might I add. Marble floors and fancy chandelier. And here we get to the old school style. Check out the big aquarium. I think all the big stars had these back in the day. I'm always reminded of Ike and Tina Turner, the big aquarium in their living room. This living space is a little more up to date. It has a nice fireplace. This one is a bit more open. You got nice views of the hills. The kitchen is bright and white with a very large alley and a double stove. And the theater gives me old Hollywood vibes. Now this is nice. The ceiling is very nice touch right here. And the second level has double doors leading into the master suite. And the, very, the, and the master suite is a very nice size with lots of natural light, custom vaulted ceilings, and a sitting area. And my favorite part of this uh, by far is the master bath. Great view of the pool and a nice modern deep tub. And here's a closer look at that pool. And the home also, of course, has a tennis court. I think all the homes in this neighborhood do. Looks like I lost my feet, but now it's time for me to provide my insider rating. That's why I rate the home on a scale from one to 10, one being awful, 10 being magnificent. I rate Martin's home a seven. Yep, so it's kind of dated, but I can see the potential in it. I, I like the idea that it's in the, the most exclusive community in the entire world, in my opinion, Beverly Park. Um, so I give it a seven. But what do you rate the home on a scale from one to 10? Put your rating in the comments below. I'd love to hear them, and I might shout you out in a future video. Also, check out our other channel, which is growing very rapidly. It's called Top Celebrity Pads, where you may see an even vaster array of uh, celebrity homes, mega mansions, if you will. And um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Peace out. <laughs> Please don't come over, cause you're not sober, yeah Now you know that ain't right If you two knew you was coming over, that would be a problem yeah. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it